The deadly shootout started with a targeted attack on this Jewish deli near the corner of Bayview Ave and MLK Drive in Jersey City. Public safety authorities reviewing surveillance cameras say the shooters calmly pulled up in a U-Haul van before taking aim. On the video, they parked the van. They exit the van with the rifle, with the long guns in their hand and immediately begin firing toward the location that we lost three of our citizens in yesterday. So uh, there were multiple other people on the streets, so there were many other targets available to them that they bypassed to attack, to attack that place. So it was, a tar- it was clearly that was their target, and they intended to harm people inside there. What followed was an hours-long shootout between Jersey City PD and two suspects, leaving two officers wounded and six people dead, including Jersey City Police Detective Joseph Seals. It's believed that at some point yesterday, Two individuals encountered and killed Jersey City Police Detective Joseph Seals in the Bayview Cemetery in Jersey City. At a morning press conference, Public Safety Director James Shea and Mayor Steve Fulop looked to set the timeline straight. The first shots rang out at approximately 12.30 p.m. Schools ordered to lock down, bullets flying through the streets. This did not begin with gunfire between police officers and the perpetrators and then moved to the store. It began with an attack on the civilians in the store. And then our officers who were posted a block away immediately responded to the sound of the gunfire heroically placed themselves in the line of fire attempting to give the information, and both of them were, received gunshot wounds. Uh, two officers on a walking post uh, one block south, and uh, when they heard the gunshots, they responded immediately. Um, from what we can tell in the CCTV cameras, had they not responded and had they not been there in that location, more than likely more people would have died. So that first 30 minutes, it was more than, I, I would say more than two in it, right? Because you could tell whatever they had was semi-automatic and fully automatic. There's a few shots you heard, it was like boom, boom, boom. Then you would hear, and that wasn't the cops. The streets were filled with people, and the schools surrounding were filled with people. With the amount of ammunition they had, we have to assume they would have continued attacking human beings. Following the event, the vehicle that the two uh, individuals arrived to the uh, location in was searched by our state police professionals forensically. Uh, They did locate in that, amongst other items that I won't be discussing, Uh, a pipe bomb improvised explosive device. It was a viable device, meaning it could be a device that would have exploded. Uh, It was, again, of a pipe bomb uh, bomb design. Uh, Not complicated, but sophisticated in the sense that time and effort went into creating it. Today, yellow tape and a school window peppered with gunshots remain. People in this neighborhood don't, you know, have any animosity towards Jewish people in this neighborhood. So we speak and walk by and everything. And once in a while we go in and and, and patronize their business, but it had to be somebody outside this neighborhood. Some people are genuinely afraid, I'd like to say. And then some people are not surprised. I just go to work and I go home. So, you know, for me, it was a shock. And Mary Alice, we're back out here live now at the scene of the deli, which this was the entrance. It's boarded up now. In fact, just a few moments ago, feet from where we're standing, police gathered yet another shell casing from the ground just near where we're positioned. The big question, of course, is how this is being classified as an act of terror, as a hate crime. State officials aren't going so far as to call it that, but Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop is convinced it is. I caught up with him late today to ask him why he's convinced of that. Here's what he had to say. I think from my standpoint, and I think most people's standpoint, um, it was 100% a hate crime. And as the grandson of Holocaust survivors, um, I know that it's important to call out anti-Semitism quickly and aggressively and any time there's hate. And you can't wait on something like that. And Mayor Steve Fulop confirming that there is a yeshiva just next door, which on any given day houses about 50 to 70 children. Of course, he said the situation could have been much worse. 